So see, the key question is, when are we going to be a part of the Chinese colony? <laughs> 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 that is the biggest, biggest, biggest fear that is out there that we are going to be part of China soon. So when, when is that going to happen? Quite well, a question, <laughs> but I think that claim, uh, Mahesh, cannot be substantiated. I'll, I'll explain why. Mm -hmm. Because this land of 269 hectares, which was reclaimed, the land owner or the landlord is the government of Sri Lanka. In return for the investment by the, the Chinese-owned company, which has committed $1.4 billion investment, of which $1.1 billion has been already invested. Mm -hmm. In return for the consideration, government of Sri Lanka has given a leasehold right for 43% of the 269, about 116 hectares. So now we need to monetize this 116 hectares. We are not going to be building on all that 116 hectares. So for us to monetize, we need to attract the right investment, yeah. investors. Now when we do attract that primary investor, we will surrender our leasehold right. Mm -hmm. And government of Sri Lanka is always a party to any lease agreement within Port City. That's one way to ensure that the territorial integrity and sovereignty is protected. The second point is that even if you have a leasehold right, a 99-year leasehold right over, a, over a, a plot of land, you still need to apply to the commission, a commission which would be set up uh, by an act of parliament once the bill is passed. You need to apply for a commission to, for a license to operate within Port City, license to operate and the commission will issue that license renewable with conditions. and. If you breach that license, Commission has the power to revoke that. So, by, by way of this mechanism, and there's so much of oversight by the government, I'm not sure how people can or, you know, mention that this can be a, a Chinese colony when government has so much oversight over Port City.